Now I'm seeing a turn in the landscape that I'm really enjoying. I'm starting to see Christians kind of G up. They're kind of becoming um, the kind, the spirit of the lion of Judah is coming up because you know why? Because we're going to just jump into the first seal, the beginning of sorrows. The first seal is dissimulation. Now what dissimulation is, um, we'll just talk about it. What does it say? Um, and I behold, they opened up the first seal and I saw a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Okay. That's revelation one verses. I mean, revelation six verses one through two. That's the white horse. This is the first seal. This is the events that the Bible says will happen when the first seal opens. This is the atmosphere of deception. And what do you mean the Bible says it? Well, Jesus said it himself. I was going to start this reading uh, Matthew 24, but it started off, he said, and the disciples came to Jesus privately and they asked him, Lord, when will the beginning of these things be? And when shall be the sign of your return? And when shall the end of the world be? And the first thing Jesus said, this is the first thing Jesus said. This is what blew my mind and why the book had to come out. The first thing he said was, be not deceived. Many will come in my name saying that I am the Christ and deceive many. And false prophets, I'm kind of going way down like verse 24. From there, he comes back on it. He said, false prophets is going to abound. He said, people just is going to be just straight up deceiving people. It's going to be so much deception. So as I began to dig up and in, dig into deception, I found this word called dissimulation and it's defined as a noun. The concealment is of one's thoughts, feelings, or character. Synonyms are misrepresentation, deceit, dishonesty, dishonesty, duplicity, lying, guile, falsification, shamming, um, faking, bluffing, counterfeiting. That's very important. Counterfeiting, posturing, double dealing, concealment, masking, disguising, and hiding, veiling, and shrouding. This right here is the atmosphere of the Antichrist. A lot of people say the first seal is the Antichrist, but I believe he is on earth. I believe he's making his rounds and he's, he's growing. But this is the one thing that I know that the deception that is on this earth, I'm telling you, it entered in here around 2013 to 2016 because we have never seen anything like this before. What are some of the things that have came along with this type of deception? Witchcraft, Satanism, covering of the religious for divination. You have changing of laws. You have science flipping. You have emotions being put over facts. You have worldwide governments ceding the rights of its citizens. You got the advent of fake fact, fake news, false facts. You got communication blocks. You, these are all things to hide and conceal the truth. Now, for it to be, for the truth to be hid and concealed, there has to be another agenda at play. Okay, we have false flag events. We got so many important things going on this earth, but it's all these other little things that have came along that mean absolutely nothing that have captivated the public, seducing spirits, itching ears, minor things that are deflecting attention. Now you mean to tell me y'all gonna have some congressional hearings on UFOs and aliens, but you ain't gonna have some congressional hearings on the seven seals of revelation. Come on here now. I mean, I'm not, I'm come on. They are, they are master. The world is master at majoring on the minors and minoring on the majors. You got cover-ups, you got corruption and it's coming out. We see it. It's like a boiling pot. This stuff is literally coming out, but people are just like, they're like in a, they're like in a daze. It's like, okay. It's like, it's like we've been inoculated against the truth and you dare not say nothing against the truth. I just said it in my podcast. I said, we have now experienced a generation that is 
stating that making them look at their selves, like we had to look at ourselves. We had to come to grips with the fact that we were, you know, as, you know, growing up, we were women and, and, and the gentlemen, they were men and, and they weren't trying to flip and they weren't trying to put, they're just like, they just accepted that life was life. And you just went and you did what you did. But now it's so offensive. It's called abuse and it's prosecutable by law, making people look at themselves. If a picture is worth a thousand words, how much is a reflection of your conscious worth of who you really are? Because if you go and accept who you really are, made in God's image, oh, that's an indictment. Oh, you damning me to hell? You sending me to hell? Oh, that's, that's illegal. And so you got people, now you got people, they identifying as blue cupcakes walking down the street. It don't even matter. They identify as whatever they want to identify as and has flipped science on its ear, the atmosphere of deception. This is the first seal. Now, I believe if it opened up between 2013 and 2016, it's been going on intensifying and it has been compounding since 2016. That's the first seal. 